What's up, friends? It's your boy, Eric Bledsoe. I hope you had a restful weekend. Guys, we're in the back half. While it feels like the middle, we're at least headed towards the light now, right out of this 30 days of quarantine. And so this week, I want to start a series called Rebuild. How do we move forward well out of this time of quarantine? Today, we're going to talk about the most important foundational element of moving forward in a way that sets us up for success that might have been different from how we operated in the past. 30 days of hope, let's go. So we are on the way out of this very dark tunnel. How do we move forward? You know, there was in the Old Testament this unbelievable story about how a guy named Nebuchadnezzar destroyed the city of Jerusalem and then hauled its people off into exile. Kind of feels like that right now, like we're in exile. And after uh, so many years, 70 years, I believe it was, um, some of the folks from that city were allowed to go back to Jerusalem and begin to rebuild it. But when they got there, it was totally a mess. And so uh, these are famous uh, prophets and books of the Bible you may have heard of, Ezra, Nehemiah, Haggai, Zephaniah, um, all of these guys, Zechariah, sorry, not Zephaniah, I had it written down. Uh, all of these guys were friends and knew each other and were part of the core team for rebuilding the city of Jerusalem. And so uh, Nehemiah was in charge of the build and a guy named Zerubbabel was the governor of Judah. A guy named Joshua was the high priest over the house of Israel. Ezra was kind of like the lead teacher of the law. Haggai and Zephaniah were both prophets and so as they're getting things together and this guy named Zerubbabel is leading the charge over the people of Judah, the word of the Lord comes to this prophet named Zechariah. And he says, go, hey, he says, hey, Zech, go tell Zerubbabel, I'm going to let him do this. He's going to see it finished. But before he begins, I want him to know this. It won't be by might and it won't be by his own power. The only way this is going to work is if he's led by my spirit. It's not by might. It's not by power, but it's by my spirit, says the Lord. And so, friends, that, that is the way the people of God have always rebuilt. That will be the way we rebuild. And if we build any other way, uh, it will be our own kingdom again. Jesus says, hey, don't worry about what you're going to eat or going to drink. Seek first my kingdom, right? My justice or righteousness, and I take care of all these other things. As the people of God, it won't be by might. It won't be by pulling up our own bootstraps. It'll be by his power, says the Lord. And so, guys, let's be after the kingdom. This week, as we posture our hearts to go forward, let's start with a remembrance of what hopefully this quarantine has done for us to remind ourselves that ultimately it's the Lord that's in charge. And we want to seek his kingdom. We want to posture ourselves as his people. Not that he's kind of a side dish, but he's the main course. He's the whole thing. And it's through him that the blessing comes and that we live and move and breathe, the scripture says, and have our being. So as we rebuild day one, let's uh, return. Let's, let's remember as we have returned during this quarantine, that will be the way that we operate moving forward. Not by might, not by power but by his spirit. Right.